morning, good afternoon, good evening, yes sir, Bob. Welcome to a new set of videos that we're going to be doing, we're going to be throwing in here. You guys remember I told you I was going to bring you uh, some more stuff and uh, hopefully better content. Hopefully kind of stuff that you guys want to see. And what it's called, well you saw the title. Trucking uh, tools of the trade. Okay, that's going to cover just about everything from inside the truck to outside the truck. Everything you need to live in the truck, uh, work in the truck, uh, anything and everything to do with the truck. And it's mostly okay stuff that I have. Okay, I'm going to try to cover some stuff that I don't have. I'll go to other drivers. I'll try to find some flat betters that I can, uh, you know, uh, show some stuff with uh, things like that. Because they need a little bit different set of, uh, of items than uh, what we do. But that'll be much later in the series. So this first one, let, with no further ado, let's get going. It's called Communications. And that's going to cover, it's going to be several parts to this. Of course, the first part being this video. Uh, it's going to cover cell phones, Qualcomm's, Bluetooth, CB radios. Okay? So essentially four parts. So, and the videos aren't necessarily going to come up every day. So, anywho, um, we got a truck rolling in. Lucky me. Alrighty, so let's just get on with it here. Alright, so today we're talking about cell phones. Okay, cell phones are a definite must as a truck driver. I know there's going to be some people that are going to argue that point. But it really, 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 really is now. Reason being is because pay phones are becoming extremely rare. They're, like, they're, they're dinosaurs, uh, and they're very hard to find sometimes. A lot of times you go into a rest area, you'll see a pay phone. Whether it works or not, it's a different story. Uh, there's a lot of times, uh, and I know I haven't been in the States in a, in, in a few months, but it's still, it doesn't matter. They're here. You get in there, pay phones are very hard to find nowadays. Why? Because everybody carries a cell phone just about. There are a few holdouts of you drivers who don't have one you got to get into the 21st century got to get a phone okay so we're going to go one step further than that not just a regular flip phone that you can just make phone calls on okay a really it's it's almost an essential and again some drivers will argue that and that's fine if you don't want it you don't want it but my recommendation is smartphone okay these things have so many uses it's it's incredible I have a friend of mine who has two trucks he runs. Uh, he hurt his back, so he can no longer drive. So he has two drivers. They have, they actually have Blackberries. Same thing as a smartphone. Reason being is he can send email to them. Okay. Now, both those trucks are equipped with printers, uh, little mini printers. What happens is, is when he goes to, wants to fax them something, um, like for crossing the border for their ACE or their ACI, all he does is email it to them. They print it out in the truck. They're good to go. Versus having to look for a place to receive the fax. Um, I believe one of his drivers even has the uh, scanner. The portable scanner too. But anyway, that's something totally different. Right? So, that's number one. So you can receive emails. Work related, right? Um, also, there's apps on these phones. Awesome, awesome apps. Okay? We're just going back to some of them here. Uh, one of the ones that's uh, for for my company, the company I work for that's new, is the Transflow app. Okay, this is really important, and a lot of companies probably accept it. I don't see why not. Uh, let's say your pay cut off is Tuesday night, and you have a trip that you need to scan in. Well, you've got the smartphone to do it. You don't have to go hunting around for a scanner at a truck stop, especially if you're out in the middle of nowhere or you're stuck at a customer. There's no scanners. Blah blah blah. Right? Okay. So that's another good reason for it. Another good reason for it is, of course, I press the button. It doesn't want to do it. Google Maps. Okay. Or there's other mapping programs too. This particular phone came with Google Maps. Okay. Right? Great, great tool. If all of a sudden, this is not to you, don't use this for trip planning. Okay. Let's say you get into an area, for whatever reason, you were given the wrong instructions, you make a wrong turn, whatever, it doesn't matter. There's a, a whole slew of reasons. You get into an area and now all of a sudden, it's not matching up with what you thought, and you're not sure, you don't want to get, the worst thing to do is to keep driving and get yourself in further. Boom. Of course, I press the button. You turn on that, and guess what? It automatically pinpoints where you are okay 
What is good about this? Okay, so what's good about this is, is it makes it a little bit easier to try to help find your way out of some place in case you got screwed up. Another good reason, if you don't have a GPS, for example, um, which, you know, will show you where you are also, but if you don't have a GPS or if your GPS is not showing certain streets, backup, backup plan. Um, but for those who don't have the GPS, you know, you click on this, you see where you are, and you can also take a look to see if maybe there's a better way to get out of some place. Because maybe you came in and you're going, whoa, that just really sucked, man. The truck shouldn't be coming down there, blah, blah, blah. So you can go on here and you can look quickly to see, you know, you made your delivery, you want to get out. You can look real quick and see, is there a better way out or not? You know, it doesn't tell you truck routes. So you got to be careful that you don't go through residential. But as a backup, good, uh, good plan. Okay, so the next real big thing on this other than the other thousands and thousands of apps that you can get is the truck stop apps. And I'm just going to pull up one because there's one for just about everybody, but I'm going to pull up the My Pilot. Okay. Now there's probably not going to be anything out here because there's very few flying J's out here right now. Uh, so the one on principal St. Helens showed up. Okay. That's on the way to Quebec city. It is, uh, it's not telling me how many miles away it is, but I know if I get into the details, oops, oops, I know, oops is never good, right? I'm sure it does show me if I go through it, but, oh yeah, show on map. So, anyway, yeah, so you have the truck stop apps. Uh, My Pilot does Flying J Pilot. Uh, you have the one that's for TA Petro. That's a combined app. You also have uh, Love's app. Awesome apps. So, great, you have truck stop uh, information for yourselves absolute must-have right okay so here's another big one too social media it's a great way to keep in touch with your family okay uh, at a very fairly inexpensive cost to you so you know Facebook email texting things like that if you get yourself just a regular flip phone you're gonna lose out on a lot of that uh, you know portability or not portability but a lot of information that could be helpful to you there's all kinds of other things you can do on these phones um besides just email you can do your banking you know for you those of you who are out quite a bit and you want need to pay bills uh, a lot of the banks nowadays have apps you can get online you can pay bills okay that's another fantastic reason just to get this uh just for that alone i'm just trying to look here too quickly you've got calculator in here obviously uh, there's there's all kinds of uh, helpful management type tools to help you out. You've got Notepad, so you can put notes quickly in your phone. Um, and then you run into a shipper, or whatever. He gives you a certain number. You got to go out. You don't have a pen and paper. Boom! You got your phone. You got Notepad. You can put uh, the information in your phone quite easily. Uh, another app that I really like uh, is the uh, the Weather Network for temperature and whatnot. There's other ones you can get uh, with, you know, road conditions, blah, blah, blah. Yellow Pages. Another fan... There we go. Another fantastic app to have on here. Okay? Let your fingers do the walking. Well, in this case, let the app do the walking. Now, this video is going on a little bit long, and I apologize. Uh, it's not what I intended for these uh, little tips uh, videos and these tool videos. But the phone is a really, really, really big thing to have. Smartphone. This is a Samsung Galaxy S2. Um, it's almost becoming outdated now because they got the S3 out. I'm sure they're going to come up with an S4 eventually or something. So, phone. Gotta have a phone, guys. If you're coming out here and you don't have a phone... Mm. And the other big thing with having a phone is having an appropriate uh, plan. Okay? Uh, if you're running like me right now just in Canada, there's some great plans. If you're running within just the U.S., there's just a, a ton of great plans. So you got to figure out where you're going. You have to find out what phone's got the best coverage and whatnot. Now, for those of you who are running Canada to U.S. and back and forth across the border, or those of you American drivers driving from the U.S. to Canada, I suggest you make sure you get yourself a North American type plan, an international plan, okay? Um, I know Verizon has them. I know uh, Walmart's uh, pay-as-you-go phones. I forget, the, the, uh, I forget the name of it now. I apologize. That was bad of me. But anyway, 
there's several out there that have those from the U.S. that for coming into Canada. Same with Canada going to the U.S. Rogers has it, Bell has it, uh, Kudo has it. They all have them, okay? Now, sometimes they tend to be a little expensive depending on what plan you want. If you just want it so that it kicks so that you can use it in the U.S., uh, very basic, 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 it's not too expensive. However, if you plan on using it quite a bit in the U.S. and using it for the data, etc., etc., then I suggest, this is my suggestion only, uh, because I've made the mistake I had with Bell before where I was doing the North American plan, costing an arm and a leg, okay? The cheaper way to do it is have your Canadian plan, or vice versa, U.S. Well, U.S., this doesn't even apply to the U.S. because your plans are totally different. But anyways, for Canadian drivers, have your Canadian plan with your unlimited uh, minutes and long distance, all that other crap, data. Then when you get to the U.S., get into either A, a Best Buy, that's the one I know of. There's others that you can do it, I'm sure. Uh, or Walmart and get uh, buy a separate phone with a U.S. plan. Uh, the pay-as-you-go that you can l reload the uh, phone v online, okay? So you don't have to physically go there to do it. Uh, Walmart's one, you can do that. You can buy, you know, one month, two months, three months, four months in advance, whatever. And then you can go online and reload the phone. I know this video is just going on and on and on and on and on, but it's an important topic. And I'm hoping that everyone just keeps watching all the way through because it is, again, an important topic. Uh, communication is huge out here. And you need to be stay in touch, okay? Uh, especially, like I said, since the, the dinosaur phones or pay phones are going out, this is the way it's done. It used to be pen and paper, go in, talk on a pay phone. That was your only communication. Now you have cell phones, okay? And I totally lost track of it. Okay, so important uh, getting the proper plan in Canada. So if you're Canadian, I suggest you have your Canadian plan and then get stopped in a Walmart or a Best Buy or anything like that down there and get yourself a second phone, okay? Another way to do it is get your phone unlocked. Go to Bell, Rogers, whatever. Pay them the couple of dollars to get it unlocked. Pop into Best Buy, get yourself a, a, a US SIM card. Uh, pay as you go uh, plan again, about 60 bucks a month. Uh, and it's usually unlimited, unlimited. And all you have to do is when you cross the border is pull your SIM card out, put the U.S. SIM card in, you're good to go. Same phone, different phone number, obviously. But, again, like I said, uh, you can just use the one phone. You don't have to buy two phones. You just have two phone numbers. And you just have to remember when you come into Canada, pull that card back out, put the Canadian card back in. So, anyway, that's it. That's all on the phones. Uh, it's our first, uh, you know, trucking uh, uh, tools of the trade. Uh, this one went on a little bit long. I apologize, but it's an important topic as far as communication goes. Is having a phone and having a proper phone. Getting into the 21st century, get yourself a smartphone, okay? Because it's an absolute must, and, and the, it's an endless number of uses that you can use that phone for that will help you with the job. Alrighty, that's it. That's all, guys. Talk to you in the next video. Next video is going to be about either Qualcomm or Blue. Actually, next video is going to be about the Bluetooth. So there you go. So that's what you have forward to look forward to in the next video.